Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Spy Helm 2 sunglasses. So first off, let's pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. They have 57 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. They feature Spy's HD Plus lenses. And I really like the look of these red mirror lenses with these matte black frames. Now a big difference between the original Helm and the Helm 2 is the fact that the Helm 2 actually feature all metal hinges, which feel pretty nice when opening up and when closing them, where the original Helm just feature plastic hinges. Now if we put these sunglasses on face, we can see there aren't any markings or anything on the lenses because they're just the standard lenses. They're not Spies Happy lenses or polarized lenses, so they're just going to be uh, blank here. But if we do take a look here at the outside temples, we can see the little Spy logo on both the left and the right hand side. But this is a pretty popular pair of sunglasses from Spy. So I actually have two other very popular sunglass styles that I'm gonna show you guys here to give you guys a comparison. Here are the Ray-Ban Justin sunglasses. As you guys can see, they are very similar as far as the look goes. These have matte black frames. And these also feature red flash lenses. Now I'm going to pop on the original Holbrook sunglasses right here. Again, to give you a quick comparison of how these all look on face because they are very, very similar. As far as pricing goes, the original Ray-Ban Justins are going to run you around $140. These Oakley Holbrook sunglasses are going to run you around $110. And the Spy Helm sunglasses are going to run you around $110. So these are the cheapest out of the three. Something that I really like about these frames is the ear rest. So here on the ear rest, they have this uh, textured rubber material, which really fits well behind the ear. It really helps the sunglasses stick on the face and not fall off in the Oakley Holbrook and the Ray-Ban Justins don't have anything like that. So these spy sunglasses definitely fit on the face better. And the lens quality is very similar to the base uh, Ray-Ban lenses or the base Oakley lenses. There really isn't a big difference here. Nothing uh, really to point out. These sunglasses are made in China and they actually say that here in the inner right temple sunglasses. They just say made in China spy optic. Where the Ray-Ban Justins are made in Italy and the original Oakley Holbrook sunglasses were made in USA but a lot of them are now being made in China. So nothing too special there before these sunglasses are made. As far as packaging goes, these sunglasses come in a bright orange box and I really do like the look of the spy orange. And these sunglasses also ship in a very nice microfiber pouch for protection. Now as far as coverage from sun goes, unfortunately these are not going to offer the best coverage. There is a pretty big gap to the sunlight in unprotected here up top. And then here on the sides we can see a massive gap to the sunlight in unprotected. So when wearing sunglasses outside, if the sun is coming at any one of those angles, you're definitely going to be experiencing a lot of eye strain, which definitely isn't ideal. But overall I think it's a very decent pair of sunglasses. I actually was able to pick mine up on Amazon for only $75. And I think for $75 sunglasses have a pretty decent value to them. $75 is way below a pair of Oakley or Ray-Ban sunglasses. But like I said, these sunglasses are one of their basic sunglasses and the lenses aren't polarized or don't have any fancy uh, thrills to them. So these sunglasses are just going to be a very standard, uh, decent pair of sunglasses. And I think for $75, these sunglasses are pretty compelling. But if you guys are interested in current pricing and availability, like I said, Amazon has the best prices, so I will leave a link in the description down below to this exact pair of sunglasses if you guys are interested in checking these out. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.